Hi everyone, my name is Ali Hussain, and today we'll be deploying an Azure Red Hat OpenShift cluster and onboarding that cluster as an Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster. With that, uh, let's uh, begin with looking at the Jumpstart repository. The Jumpstart repository is a collection of scenarios that help a user deploy resources that are Arc enabled to play around with. Uh, it is intended to have you deploy resources in an automated fashion going from zero to hero in a matter of minutes. Now let's uh, navigate over to the scenarios. So we're gonna start off by going into the Kubernetes related scenarios. Within that, we are going to go into the, uh, we're gonna look out for the Azure Red Hat OpenShift section. Uh, we're gonna go in there and there's, you'll find here a section on ARO. With that, let's go through this deployment. This deployment starts with prerequisites where you are expected to register to two resource providers and it takes a few minutes. With that, let's jump into the deployment itself. The deployment starts with Cloud Shell. We're going to open up Cloud Shell and in the Cloud Shell, we're going to run a command. The command is going to fetch a script and run it. The script does the following. It first deploys a container instance the container instance has a script running that first in, uh, ensures that you have the service providers registered. From there, it deploys a VNet. And from there, within the VNet, it deploys an Azure Red Hat OpenShift cluster, the ARO cluster, and then it proceeds to connect that cluster as an ARC enabled Kubernetes connected resource. Once the script runs, you're going to have to give it credentials. And to give it credentials, we're going to copy in that code navigate to a new browser, give it that code, and the Cloud Shell from there is going to get authenticated. Uh, once it's been authenticated, go ahead and close the, uh, close the tab uh, and navigate over to the resource group tab. There you will see a container instance that is running and you can navigate over to the logs and we'll do all of that as part of the demo. Uh, but once it's done, you're gonna see that the resource group has all the resources deployed which is the Arc Enable Kubernetes, the OpenShift cluster, and the Azure VNet. Let's start the demo. The demo is going to start with the Cloud Shell. We are going to do everything in Cloud Shell, and we're going to go up there and open it up. It's going to take a couple of minutes for the first time, and then once it does, we're going to run our script. The script is first going to deploy the resource group, which will take a quick second. From there, it is going to deploy the container instance, which will take a couple of minutes. From there, the script is going to output the credentials that you're going to use to authenticate the container instance. From there, you're gonna open up a new tab, you're going to put in the code and authenticate using your subscription. From there, it will the command line is authenticated and the container instance can then now begin and deploy the rest of the resources. Let's go ahead and close the Cloud Shell and navigate over to the resource group. Within the resource group, let's first take a look at the container instance Let's tap into it, go into the containers blade. Within the containers, let's go over to the logs and you'll see here all the logs that the script is emitting. Let's go over to the last section and you'll see there the Red Hat OpenShift cluster is being deployed and it takes up to 30 to 40 minutes to deploy. Once the container instance is done, it's going to kill itself with all your resources that are deployed to the resource group. Let's verify all those resources by first opening the OpenShift cluster. Here, you will see that the status is succeeded with the version number there and the number of nodes being three that we deployed. From there, let's go back into the resource group and look at the connected cluster. This is the Kubernetes uh, cl cluster, Arc enabled cluster. As you can see here, the distribution is OpenShift and it is connected. With everything deployed, let's go back into the resource group and tags. Tags is where you're going to find all the metadata, including the status, as well as the console for the ARO cluster. With that, let's copy the URL and open a new tab. In the new tab, copy the URL and wait for the login page. Once the login page comes, copy the username and password from the tags blade and paste it here and wait for the login to occur. Once the login occurs, you'll see the ARO cluster and all its resources within the portal. And you can see here, everything is running. Next, we are going to log into Cloud Shell and verify everything is running using kubectl. To do that, let's open up Cloud Shell from the tab there and wait for it to log in. Once it's logged in, let's use the OC command to get the kubeconfig file. 
once we have the kubeconfig file, we're going to run kubectl get all to see all the Kubernetes resources running. The last thing we're going to do is verify all the nodes are running. To do that, we're going to run kubectl get nodes to verify the cluster nodes are running. In this demo, we use the Jumpstart repository scenario to deploy an ARO cluster. We onboarded that cluster to Arc enable Kubernetes. And from there, we verified everything was running using the portal as well as the kubectl command. And thank you for following along.